Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how to install the Cubicore NoPixel Radio for your Cubicore server. This is the Cubicore Radio by default just with a minor CSS edit and the feature to use the F1 menu to quickly change into your radio channels if you are in a police chase or a police shootout so you don't have to open up your radio menu in order to change the channel. There are two different versions of this radio which both those links will be in the description below. There is the V1 version and the V2 version. Both of them are installed the exact same way. The only difference is personal preference based on the UI look. One has a bigger radio and the other one is a smaller version of the radio. If you are in my Discord server to find these radios, you want to visit the two channels called QB Radio V1 and V2. For this video, we are going to be installing V2. Go ahead and click that URL and it will bring you to the GitHub page to download it. What you're going to want to do from here is hit code and go down to download as a zip file. Once you have downloaded that, go to your QB Core directory, go to resources, go to voice, and simply delete the QB radio from your voice folder. Once you have done that, go ahead and open your QB Radio V2 and simply drag this over. Then you're going to want to rename this and remove the dash V2 main from the name. So it's just QB Radio. Go ahead and close the zip file. And the next thing you're going to want to do here is open the QB Radio. Go to the inventory folder and go ahead and copy this image. Now to add the image, go to QB Core, go to inventory, go to HTML, go to images and simply control V and replace. Then we're going to want to go back to the QB radio, go to PMA voice for the mic clicks, copy these, and then go to your PMA dash voice folder, go to UI, and then simply delete these and control V and paste in the new mic clicks. Then once you're done with that step, you can go back to your QB radio and delete these two folders as they're not needed anymore. To add the F1 feature, go to your QB folder, go to the QB redial menu, and then go to config is where you're going to want to add it to your police interaction. To find the section faster, go ahead and type in quotations police. And here is where we will be adding the radio menu for your F1 feature. Now to add this the easiest way, you're going to want to copy a pre-existing interaction. And for this, we'll copy the the police action copy that go back up and here we will put a space and control V and now we have the police interaction down twice uh, so what we'll do is for this video we are going to only install two radio clicks so we will get rid of those that we don't need anymore and then for the v1 version and the v2 there's up to six radio clicks one through six and all you have to do is change the ID name and the event name for that to work but for this so it's not conflicting we are going to name the ID police radio for a title we will name it police radio as well for icon we will make this radio as it's already existing in the JS main file to edit this icon you'll have to go into the JavaScript file which is the main JS file that's in the JS folder but for this video we are going to use the default radio icon that they currently have then to get the event names that go here you want to scroll down into the readme and just copy this by hitting the two page icon control v and control v again now like i said if you are making one through six then you will have to change these radios by two three four five six etc uh, but for the video we are only using two so we will name this join radio two channel two and then join radio channel two as the event name go ahead and save that and start your server and i will demonstrate how this works all right now that this is added to the police section of the menu you will have to make sure that your job is set to the police which we will do now go ahead and clock in if you aren't already once you have clocked yourself in then you want to give yourself a radio if you don't have one already and as you see here, we have the new PNG image that we moved to our QB Core inventory folder. And we can go ahead and hit one on our keyboard. And as you see, we have the new radio. And if we hit F1 and go to work, we can see the police radio with the new interactions. So what we're gonna to wanna to do now is hit one on our keyboard and type in a radio channel. Let's type in three for the video purpose. Now, as you see in the bottom right, we are connected to the third radio channel, which you can hear the new mic clicks. And then what we are going to do is change our channels using F1 menu to go to work, police radio, and I want to join channel one. And as you can see in the bottom right, I've changed to channel one. Radio still works. If I change to channel two, it should change to channel two in the bottom right, as you can see there. The radio clicks still work. And if I drop the radio, 
I'll be disconnected from the channel. The only way to join the radio channel back is by dragging the radio over and reconnecting to your radio frequency channel. If this tutorial video helped you out, then please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will be doing more showcases on 5M resources that I've created and also more tutorial videos to help you all set up your QB Core server. If you want to join the Discord, Discord link will be in the description below. Thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next tutorial video.